Good morning, everyone, uh, or actually good afternoon, uh, depending on the time zone you're connecting from. And thank you very much, uh, Mark, for your introduction. Um, I'm very pleased to be here today to um, present you uh, this tool that we have developed. Uh, this is all joint work with Anna Haimani, uh, who's also working at the University uh, of Paris. Uh, and so we hope that you can give a try to this tool soon and hopefully find it useful. So uh, a bit more specifically, uh, this tool uh, that we have called Anime Studio is a web application, so an online application to produce and visualize results from uh, network meta-analysis in a uh, fully interactive fashion. Um, uh, so um, the session uh, will be structured into three main parts. So first I will introduce, of course, a little bit of a context and uh, explain what Anime Studio is, uh, how it works and what are the main functionalities. Uh, then we will go through a part which is a live demonstration, probably will be the largest part, and we will actually see two different um, live uh, demonstrations. Um, first, using a built-in data set. So uh, in this application, we have uh, an example data set which is permanently loaded, and we will uh, we will see the functionalities of the app going through this example. But then also we will try to upload our own data, just mainly to go through the data uploading process. Uh, and then, of course, we will uh, conclude with some final uh, thoughts and uh, a brief discussion of what are the features that we plan to add into Anime Studio. And um, well, at this point, I should probably say that the, the app is quite recent. So it's, it's quite in its early stages. So any suggestion that you might have or thing that you don't find clear, either during the demonstration or later on, I'd be very happy to uh, discuss that with you. And that will be very beneficial for us to, to, to improve on that. Um, OK, so uh, first of all, um, why did we decide to do a web application? So, as I said, this app uh, produces and visualizes uh, network mass analysis, but the, the, the ultimate goal was actually to provide something that could enhance and facilitate the interpretation of the network mass analysis. Because as we know, so I don't know if uh, uh, how the audience is familiar with uh, with NMA, so maybe uh, Dario, we can run our first poll <laughs> at this point. Um, but uh, um, we will see a little bit more what NMAs are in, in, a, in a few moments, but just for the moment, it's enough for you to know that it's a method that simultaneously compare multiple treatments forming what is called the network of treatments. So there are many different treatments being compared together and we estimate all the possible relative effects and so on. So this is just to say that clearly the number of uh, re results uh, can be very large. Uh, there are many outputs uh, and visualization clearly can be challenging. Uh, and this is especially true when we have a large network. So there, when there are many treatments being uh, compared um, uh, together. For those of you who are uh, familiar with the, with the published animes or have published animes yourself, you, you know that typically an anime contains a very long supplementary material or uh, where we assess many, uh, we need to go through many assessments, many outputs, uh, graphical and tables and so on. So um, the, the overall body of evidence that we need to assess is very large and can be time consuming. So uh, in general, of course, uh, the development of software has uh, helped in this and has clearly uh, played uh, a major role uh, in the growth of, in the fast growth of uh, published NMAs that we have experienced, uh, especially over the last decade. So just as an example, uh, we can sh we can see here uh, uh, how the number of published NMA uh, increased very fast in time over from 2005 up until well the data here are up until 2017 but still we see a large increase and we can also think that probably the increase seems to be associated with the development of new software. I've just named a few uh, here but of course there's more probably around uh, 20. 
2010, also all of the Bayesian parts was coming up and so on. Uh, so if you allow them some time, maybe a year for the for the software to, to take off, then you will see that clearly this also increased a lot, the number of published uh, NMAs. Um, so this is great and of course very useful, uh, but the, the problem now is that it seems that more recently uh, we are also moving a little bit towards more what is called living evidence. So if you, well, the very easy example to think of is what is happening now with the COVID. So there are all of these online platforms when where the uh, evidence is constantly updated, maybe weekly or every two weeks. Um, so. Uh, more than ever, I would say we need uh, flexible and uh, well user-friendly, uh, if possible, software to keep up with this fast production of, of new evidence. Um, and uh, many of the existing software, of course, they're very useful and they mainly focus on some specific and different aspects, but some of them are not so far fully interactive. So uh, a software which is fully interactive can help in producing quickly uh, results, especially uh, related to this living evidence that we are experiencing. Um, so uh, that is what brought us to the development of NMA Studio, where the main idea of the app is that we wanted to provide an extra level of interactivity, in this case, a direct uh, connection between the typical uh, NMA network plots where you have your evidence summarized and all of the different uh, NMA outputs. And we will see exactly what, what they are in a second. Um, so um, uh, the, the way uh, NMA Studio works um, is the following basically. So first users upload their data and then they interact directly with this network plot by clicking on the treatments, so the nodes in the network, and or the comparisons, so the different links in the network. And then based on the selection uh, that they have made, different outputs and different information boxes also are displayed. So the user can constantly interact with this. So to fix ideas a little bit more, I've shown you here the, the home uh, main page. Uh, the picture, maybe it's a bit small, but uh, it doesn't matter because all I want to say here is that on the left part of the screen, the user will always have the network plot uh, so that it can constantly interact with the network. And then on the right, there are different tabs and each of these tabs will refer to a key step of the NMA that we need to perform. We will see, we will see a bit more details in a second. Um, the, the app is deployed at this address here, animestudioapp.com. So you can uh, um, go to the web and, and have it to try yourself. Um, I think that the page should be stable for many multiple users using the app uh, at the same time, but probably for the purposes of uh, this demonstration, it's better if uh, uh, not many people now connect to the app so that uh, we avoid uh, any issue. Um, so just taking a little bit of a step back. So I said that the NMA basically contains many steps, which we have here in NMA Studio into the different tabs. Uh, so it's good to refresh a little bit uh, precisely what, what an NMA does and what are these steps. So as I was saying at the beginning, um, natural meta analysis is this method, a statistical method that provides a simultaneous comparison between multiple treatments. And the way it does so is to by integrating what is called direct evidence. So when you have direct evidence uh, from, two, uh, from a trial comparing two different treatments with what is called indirect evidence. So many, maybe some of you are already familiar with that, I know, but uh, it's good to refresh it. Um, so indirect evidence is when you don't have head-to-head -head comparison between two different treatments, but you can still derive um, relative effects between the two treatments via a third treatment, which is a common comparator. So this is the key um, idea behind NMA. Uh, and of course, since uh, we have this uh, simultaneous comparison of all of the treatments available, under some certain circumstances, we can answer the question, which is very attractive question of which treatment uh, works best, for example, which is more effective. 
Uh, so again, just as a quick example, suppose we have four different treatments for a given medical condition, and we want to know how they are related, which is more, uh, and, and also which is more uh, most effective. So we start drawing the evidence. So this is what a network plot is, is the drawing of the, of the evidence available. Um, we will have a line every time that the two trials have been compared and the line will be thicker uh, for more if more trials are available. Uh, but then what actually a network meta-analysis allows you to do is also to do this. So to compare and to derive effects with, for the trials that do not have head-to-head -head comparisons. Of course, this is not true in under any circumstance. So there, as any method, it comes with assumptions. There are some cases in which it is valid to do this uh, indirect evidence here and cases in which it's not valid. So a, a, a key step, an important part of the NMA is that we always need to check the assumptions because there are some cases in which um, it is not valid to, to uh, run an NMA. Um, so the different steps of the NMA are also uh, concerned with the checking of these assumptions, starting from the first fundamental assumption of NMA, which is called the transitivity, and uh, is it precisely this, so it tests, it's not formally testable, but uh, there are ways to test, to check whether this use of the in indirect evidence is valid, so we need to check, um, well, very broadly if the um, different trials are sufficiently uh, similar so in terms of characteristics, so for example, effect modifiers to be uh, assessed together, to be pulled together. Um, then once uh, you judge that transitivity is met in your network, you can proceed with the actual NMA steps. Um, if a big part is generally dedicated to, the, uh, to reporting the summary of the treatment effects. So this is uh, what you've probably seen as uh, reported as the, with, with the typical forest plots or uh, the league tables containing all of the different pairwise um, um, comparisons between all, all, all of the possible treatments and so on. Uh, then also a large part is dedicated to other assessments, in particular what is called cons assessment of consistency, which is in a way the counterpart of transitivity, because transitivity is more a clinical assumption. So as I was saying, you cannot formally test it, while consistency is a, a statistical assumption where you check whether the direct evidence that we talked about and the indirect evidence are uh, in agreement. And then also uh, we need to check, uh, for example, the presence of the phenomenon, which is called small study effects, which is uh, in a way related to uh, publication bias. And then at the end, once all of these uh, um, checks are, are made, we can, uh, provides uh, a ranking of treatment, which is one of the most appealing um, parts of the NMA. So uh, NMA Studio, so our app will assist in a way the user in each of these steps. So throughout all of the different um, steps of an NMA, of a comprehensive NMA process. Um, so just a few more uh, technical details. Uh, we're not bore you too much with this, but just very briefly, uh, the app um, is fully built in Python, um, leveraging two different um, environments, uh, which are called Dash, which is the way to build dashboard. So this is dashboard. And also another uh, very nice package, which is called Plotly, which is very useful for these interactive uh, visualizations. And by the way, for those of you who are more familiar with, uh, with using R, uh, Plotly also exists for, for R. So it's a, it's a very nice package. Um, then we connected our app in Python uh, to R because we needed to um, leverage uh, a package, NetMeta, which is a great package to um, perform NMAs, which only exists uh, in R. Actually, in Python, there's no, as far as I know, packages to, to do NMAs. So we needed to con connect uh, Python and R to produce the NMAs, and then the results are read back in, into Python, and these uh, interactive visualizations are constructed. Uh, also, NMA Studio can um, read, can analyze uh, two outcomes at a time, um, and also can read in um, 
a report file from another very nice software which has been recently um, developed, which is called Cinema. So Cinema, I, I will say more details later, but just uh, in general, Cinema um, provides a way to um, assess the overall confidence in the evidence that we have for each comparison. Um, so we have a way to link these results uh, to NMA Studio to uh, provide additional visualizations. And we will see uh, which, which these are. Uh, then the app is quite flexible in terms of the data format that you can upload and so on. Um, we have this, uh, this example, which is permanently loaded into the app. And we believe this is important to help the user navigating and uh, exploring the results before uploading their own data. And then I want to say that it works with any browser, but uh, for some reason, Chrome and Mozilla are preferred because in Safari, there are some small um, interactivities which do not work um, properly. 